Here's how to run a one-shot adventure that lasts around three hours or so. This is a formula that works in all sorts of different settings, games, whatever. It's universal advice on how to run a role-playing game. Bare bones, here we go. The first hour. This is where the player characters interact with each other and non-player characters who give them advantages if the players engage in actual role-play. For example, the player characters meet in a tavern, the players describe their characters and they have some basic interactions together. You present them with the objective of the adventure in the form of a passive notice board or an overheard conversation, or they will be actively approached by a non-player character who presents the information as soon as they can in the conversation. Non-player characters who the player characters interact with are resources. Each of them have important and useful information about the second or third phase of this one-shot adventure. Those with info on the phase, the second phase or the second encounter are pretty important at this stage. In the second encounter, you have an emphasis on the terrain and interactive stuff, problem solving or puzzles or traps. The characters must face a delay or some damage or they may, and this is critical to understand, they may add to or subtract from the difficulty of phase three, the third or boss encounter. The price of failing in phase two is that they don't get an advantage on the boss encounter. They don't learn something about the interactive encounter location they're going into, or they turn a potential ally into an enemy. They miss the vital clue to disarming a trap or turning the trap into something they can use against the boss monster. You get the general idea. At no point should the price of failing be a block to moving forward in the adventure completely. So avoid any skill checks or combat or guessing games that would be the result of the block. Otherwise, your adventure may very well stall completely and nobody will be having a good time. Phase two is also the second hour of the adventure. So you will want to offer a break for everyone to get a drink, fresh air, walk around, answer messages, and just chat for a while before going back into the game for the third hour or phase three, the boss fight. It's important to note that any combat or damage in phase one or two of the one shot is non-lethal or a character who dies unexpectedly has some miracle occur or resource to use to bring them back to life so they can get to phase three. The combat is just an introduction to combat to get the player prepared and familiar with their character's abilities and to work out how the characters work together as a team. So the enemies will not work very well. They'll have low out damage output, but high resilience to damage that makes it takes a while to take them down just long enough for the player characters to experience one of the cool aspects of their character build. As the game master, your objective is to make phase two tricky, entertaining, and also educational. You're also preparing the players to think about more than just the hit point total of the boss monster and getting their special attack combo off before they can take the boss monster down. Also, if you let the players know the creatures they fight in phase two may have vital information about a weakness of the boss monster, it could be turned into allies. As a potential resource, they may now fight to subdue, to soak up some damage in order to calm the situation down and get the opponents to turn into allies. Phase three is where it all comes together and your objective is to present a potentially lethal threat with a highly interactive encounter location. With potential allies or side enemies, what we would call minions or complications, one of the favorites is a guide minion the players have not investigated who turns out to have been working for the boss monster the whole time. An evil kobold leading the player characters into the lair of a dragon is a great example. The kobold is very handy to get past encounter phase two, but they won't learn how to turn a difficult encounter to their advantage in the boss fight with the dragon. And worse, the kobold is going to sabotage them really effectively right before combat starts which may very well result in the characters all getting killed. This is a one-shot adventure. It is okay to kill off player characters in the boss fight in hour three. The players should be aware of this going into a one-shot. Characters may die. One option I endorse is making a non-player character who accompanies the player characters as a backup playable character for a player who has lost their character and been killed to take over, just so they can keep doing stuff in, during the game. The backup character should always be a low level and pretty feeble and now the player has to be a bit more cautious and sneaky. Or they may charge in and get another character murdered in a hilarious way. It's their choice, of course. The final encounter may take longer than one hour. It probably could be the lead in to a continuation of the game if everyone has had a good time and gelled together really well. 
So there you have it. This is the framework. Three phases over three hours. The introduction phase, the environment and practice fight phase, and the final boss fight phase. It's very open to customization and adaptation to most game systems. It is fundamental storytelling nuts and bolts. It's also great to keep in mind whenever planning an adventure, because each element has a reason for being there, and it provides a consistency that players can master as well. If they know the framework, they know that they should be interacting with non-player characters, trying to subdue opponents and turn them to their side in phase two, to not hold back anything and expect lethal consequences with good grace in phase three to try to negotiate a miraculous character save in phase one or phase two, etc. This is my best advice for how to run a one-shot game session. Have fun. My name is AJ Pickett. Thanks for listening. And as always, I'll be back with more for you very soon.